School is a scam. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. It's just Uchi. How have you been? It's been a minute. Well, I just have one point to make. School is a scam. And here is why. A little backstory. My name is Uche and I'm a 500 level law student in the University of Lagos. I'm going to be entering my seventh year in the university. And no, I did not have a carryover. Nigeria happened and Unilag happened. So now, with all the struggles of doing seven years for a five years course, with all the shege someone has to see in school, I'm just looking at it like, is this school really worth it? I'm not dropping out or anything, no. I'm an avid believer in studies, right? So I'm not even the kind of person that's going to drop out of school. Mm -mm. You cannot catch me doing that. Well, let's just believe. So if you're in Nigeria or if you're not in Nigeria, because I know I do have a lot of viewers I know in Nigeria, I have been paying 16,000 Naira as school fees since I entered Unilag. And this year, they decided to increase our school fees from 16,000 Naira to 100,000. Well, to be precise, 100,750 Naira. Like, who does that? No, who does that? I've never seen a situation whereby fees can increase with so much percentage. When our new VC came in and we had rumors of, you know, school fees increment, I was like, at all, at all, it cannot pass 50K, right? Because uh, you can't take me from 16,000. In fact, I didn't even see it happening at 50K. I thought maybe we'll end up paying 32,000, which is like double of 16,000. But eh? The medical students and, you know, science students still get to pay a whole lot more. You know, there's 140,000 and there's 190,000. And I'm like, where? In this Nigeria, in this economy, also in Nigeria, we conducted our presidential election in February, and you know, Tinubu emerged as the winner. Atiku and Peter Obi, which are Labour Party and PDP candidates, did not agree with the results, right? And they decided to take, you know, INEC and Tinubu to court. In September 6th, if I'm correct, they, they gave a judgment, right? And they gave judgment that Tinubu came out as the winner. And it's just very wild to me right and also even when the you know paper came out like where the judgment came out there was something that had the writing of the apc party or something so that kind of indicated toward the fact that this judgment may have actually already been scripted even before it was already delivered so maybe maybe some corruption had gone into because we know nigeria and nigeria is top there when it comes to corruption and i'm just thinking how the judiciary is a mess because he went to court and the court system is under the judiciary arm of government and which is what i'm studying in school which is law right and i have been in school for the past six years of my life going to the seventh year and i'm just thinking how stressful and how almost not worth it it is hmm. august september results have been coming out and you need to see the way lecturers are deriving joy in failing students like you'll be expecting an a and then you see an e or you see a c and then you are crying and you're fighting for your life and you're just being so sad and then I'm seeing the results of the election and everything that is going on. And I'm just like, is it really worth it? Like all this struggle to read for exams, to pass, to fail. Hmm. And there's still law school. There are still bills to pay. The mental stress, the physical stress. And every other experience that you're going to have to go through in the uni lag or in university in general. Only for this kind of judgment to come and be given. And now I'm not even trying to even support a particular party on another party but i'm just trying to point out the level of corruption and how much the judiciary is in a mess like even when there are certain obvious mistakes it's still all being covered up and i'm just wondering is this really 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 why i'm spending almost seven years of my life in school is this why i'm reading so hard and still failing and still crying regards this result thing i saw on twitter that a student went to meet her lecturer because she had issues with her results and the lecturer dared to rape her like are you kidding? Like, after everything, you give me a bad result and I'm going to your office to try to resolve it and then it results in rape. To what end exactly? Like, I'm just trying to wrap my head around it and it just does not make any sense at all. Like, what's the point, really? We also have the case of, is it Uniben or Unical, where the lecturer was also raping students and i think this was the head of department or someone but that was a law lecturer and i'm just like what is actually going on we've also seen different instances i remember the sex for great time whereby the lecturer wanted to sleep with a student just for grades and i'm just like why 
Really, why? And the when you come out in the professional world, because I have friends and I have a sister that has graduated from university, and I even have parents, and a good number of these people don't even get to use that degree at the end. Like, you may read a whole law in the university and end up practicing something with business administration. So, like, why exactly do we suffer so much? You need, like, as a school. I remember this exam we just wrote. The issue that we had to go through with attendance. So we are still struggling with attendance. There are some students that sadly already have a carryover because they didn't meet up with the 65% attendance mark. I also had issue with attendance, but fortunately for me, I was able to resolve it. And before I resolved it, I knew the sleepless nights I had to go through. Like, it's just so stressful. With all the stress you go through, you will be thinking that when you come out, you're going to have a blissful life. The course you're reading is going to pay you in the end. Or even if you don't even want to practice that course, you're going to have it at the back of your mind that maybe this course is actually a good course and is worth my ride. And with everything that has been happening, I've just been wondering, did I really do bad in wanting to read law as a young child? Like, wanting to read law as a young child and pursuing it up until my old age. Well, I'm not old, but like up until this stage of my life. Like, it just makes your whole life seem like it's just a scam. The career, everything you're trying to pursue is just a scam. Because who does that? And on Twitter, after the election result came out, oh my God, the dragging that law students and lawyers went through, it is funny. Honestly, that's all I can say because I could not even get pissed because Nigeria, believe it or not, is actually a mess. We are just really looking for ways to drag ourselves out of the mess. And it's just like the more you try to drag yourself out of the mess, the deeper you go into it. I saw that people reading law should just go and open a PS stand where they, when they are done. People reading law are joking. Like, it was just a loss and I was just so alarmed. Like, for a cause that demands so much of you or for the system because right now i'm speaking from a law student perspective because that's who i am but every other department also have their own struggles or is it those who tend to read you know theater arts and want to you know end up acting or you know following that career and then at the end of the day you see people sleeping their way and just there's just a lot of corruption in the country like sometimes you're just going to be wondering like is it not just better to just follow the easy way out like why am i even struggling why am i even just being so dedicated why am i taking my time why am i being so determined because believe it or not those theater art students they could have easily gone to a film school and not bother chasing the degree and then they chase the degree and then when they come out we don't even get equal opportunities and you just be like to what end really like i'm just very upset as to how everything just goes according to how the authorities want it like if you're a nobody you're a nobody like if you're if you're just a regular person trying to struggle your way up into success you just have it really hard and i know that connections are nice connections are good like we are human beings and connections are always going to be an essential part of our existence which is fine like i'm not angry about the aspect of connections but connections should not now deprive a regular regular person who has worked hard to not be able to still achieve it in the real life connections should be to elevate you when you have worked hard so let's use for example someone who is studying and has proper connections should not have it as hard right not that someone who does not do anything someone who does the bare minimum will have connections that get to the top while someone who has really struggled hard and may not have as much connection can't even make it to the top and it's just like you're in my spot and you barely did anything for it like it's not some people's fault they were not born into it bro like this school education system is just a scam and let's not forget that the education system does not just start with university it starts with with nursery in fact we go to crash we go to nursery and you're still going to enter primary school you're still going to enter secondary school you will not enter university and at the end of the day all for what like all for what exactly and there's a good number of nigerians we just result of jokes a lot of trends and a lot of it is well and God will not allow evil to come to me and my family. Because that's our watchword. It is well. Anyhow, anyhow, this government will favor me. They are planning on, you know, we are appealing this presidential case. And, you know, just seeing if there will be headway. And in my head, I'm like, it's really nice that it's trying to be appealed to see if, no, maybe a headway can be made. But in the back of my mind, I'm just like, will there really be any change? Like, are you sure that the system has not already been mismanaged up to the top level? That even as much as you're going to stress. They already have what they want to do. It's as if 
with every stage of your life, there is a renewed frustration for you. Because I remember when I was in primary school and maybe I don't get class captain, how stressed I would be. Or when, you know, you don't understand, maybe a simple mathematics and you're just very upset. And then you enter university and you realize that maybe you're not asking um, Igbo or Yoruba right. And maybe you're still struggling with quadratic equation. And then you enter university and you're like, woo! Everything is just jumbling up and then you find it you manage to finish the university. You still do the NYSC, which is by force. For which country that I don't know I'm serving because oh, that's a different bargain. And then you still enter the regular world and then you still have to struggle to get a job, to get bills, and even to be heard. And even when you manage to get bills, you still have to struggle like <sighs> I just hope with this few points of mind, I've just been able to convince you that school is a scam. So while you are going to go to school, because I'm never going to advise anybody to drop out. I'm big on education, like I already said at the initial stage of this video. But while you're actually pursuing education, just, you know, be open to every other thing and any other thing. Be it business, be it, you know, influencing and every other thing in between. Because this schooling is not a one-way street. I have been someone who grew up thinking of school as my only savior. And so trying to make a headway for myself right now is not the easiest of things. I started a business earlier this year that really crumbled. But that's not going to stop me. That's one of the reasons I do YouTube because it's just an outlet and a channel outside of, you know, studies. I say even if I'm not making money off of YouTube right now, I'm learning how to film, I'm learning public speaking, I'm learning to edit. So just try to, you know, equip yourself with different other things. Because you see, with education system, you can't just be too secured. That's the end of my rant right now. Because my voice has gone, like, it's just, ah, oh, it's just a lot to deal with. Can you relate with any of this? In any way, in any level, no matter the stage of your life, just, you know, leave anything in the comments. Let's just, let me just know where your headspace is at. If you've gotten over it, how are you able to get over it? Regardless of the stage of your life, be you older or younger, just leave your thoughts in the comments. Like, this is a safe space. Be free to ramp it, free to express yourself. And let's just know, let's just discuss as to how messed up things could be. And I'm not just saying only Nigeria, because I know I have a lot of non-Nigerian subscribers. In your own country, talk to me how the corruption level is. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe.